BrainWise Presence. Primary 4. Science Quiz B. Part 3. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today we're exploring the wonders of science together with 20 awesome questions. Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go! Number 1. An organism that cannot make its own food and must eat other organisms is called a blank. Again, an organism that cannot make its own food and must eat other organisms is called a blank. The choices are A. Producer B. Consumer C. Decomposer D. Plant The correct answer is B. Consumer Consumers, also called heterotrophs, get their energy by feeding on other organisms. Animals are all consumers. Number 2. A relationship where a bee gets nectar from a flower and helps the flower by pollinating it is called blank. Again, a relationship where a bee gets nectar from a flower and helps the flower by pollinating it is called blank. The choices are A. Predator prey B. Competition C. Symbiosis D. Adaptation The correct answer is C. Symbiosis Symbiosis is a close and long-term interaction between two different species. In this case, both the bee and the flower benefit. Number 3. When you stand in the sun, you feel its warmth. How does the heat from the sun travel to Earth? Again, when you stand in the sun, you feel its warmth. How does the heat from the sun travel to Earth? The choices are A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Insulation The correct answer is C. Radiation Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves, like light. This is how the sun's heat travels through the vacuum of space to reach us. Number 4. An animal that hunts other animals for food is called a blank. Again, an animal that hunts other animals for food is called a blank. The choices are A. Prey B. Predator C. Producer D. Decomposer The correct answer is B. Predator A predator is an organism that hunts and kills other organisms prey for food. Number 5. In a simple food web, grass is eaten by a grasshopper, which is eaten by a frog which is eaten by a snake. What would likely happen to the frog population if a disease killed all the grasshoppers? Again, in a simple food web, grass is eaten by a grasshopper, which is eaten by a frog, which is eaten by a snake. What would likely happen to the frog population if a disease killed all the grasshoppers? The choices are A. They would increase B. They would decrease C. They would stay the same D. They would start eating grass The correct answer is B. They would decrease. If the grasshoppers the frog's main food source disappear, the frogs would have less food, causing their population to decrease due to starvation. Number 6. Which of the following is an example of a producer in an ecosystem? Again, which of the following is an example of a producer in an ecosystem? The choices are A. Lion B. Mushroom C. Grass D. Goat The correct answer is C. Grass 
Producers, like grass, are organisms that make their own food using sunlight through photosynthesis. Number 7. A farmer notices that all the bees in his area have disappeared. Which part of the plant's life cycle will be most affected? Again, a farmer notices that all the bees in his area have disappeared. Which part of the plant's life cycle will be most affected? The choices are A. Germination B. Pollination C. Photosynthesis D. Water absorption The correct answer is B. Pollination Bees are primary pollinators. Without them, many plants cannot be pollinated, which means they won't be able to produce seeds and fruits. Number 8. What gas do plants take from the air to perform photosynthesis? Again, what gas do plants take from the air to perform photosynthesis? The choices are A. Oxygen B. Nitrogen C. Carbon dioxide D. Helium The correct answer is seed carbon dioxide. During photosynthesis, plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create their own food glucose and release oxygen as a byproduct. Number 9. A student wants to test which material is the best insulator. He wraps three cups of hot water with foil, cotton, and paper. He measures the temperature after 10 minutes. What is he trying to find out? Again, a student wants to test which material is the best insulator. He wraps three cups of hot water with foil, cotton, and paper. He measures the temperature after 10 minutes. What is he trying to find out? The choices are A. Which material heats up the fastest? B. Which material is the heaviest? C. Which material is best at stopping heat transfer? D. Which material dissolves in water? The correct answer is C. Which material is best at stopping heat transfer? An insulator is a material that slows down or prevents the transfer of heat. The student wants to see which material is best at stopping heat transfer. Number 10. An eagle eats a snake, which ate a frog, which ate a grasshopper. In this food chain, the eagle is a blank. Again, an eagle eats a snake, which ate a frog, which ate a grasshopper. In this food chain, the eagle is a blank. The choices are A. Producer B. Primary consumer C. Secondary consumer D. Tertiary consumer The correct answer is D. Tertiary consumer the eagle is the third consumer in this chain. Tertiary means third. The grasshopper is the primary, the frog is the secondary, and the eagle is the tertiary consumer. Great work so far! You're halfway to becoming a science whiz. Ready for the next questions? You've got this! Number 11. The transfer of heat through the movement of liquids or gases, like boiling water in a pot, is called blank. Again, the transfer of heat through the movement of liquids or gases, like boiling water in a pot, is called blank. The choices are A. Radiation B. Conduction C. Convection D. Insulation The correct answer is C. Convection In convection, warmer, less dense fluid rises and cooler, denser fluid sinks, creating a circular flow that transfers heat. Number 12. When white light passes through a prism, it separates into a rainbow. What is this called? Again, 
When white light passes through a prism, it separates into a rainbow. What is this called? The choices are A. Reflection B. An absorption C. Shadowing D. Dispersion The correct answer is D. Dispersion Dispersion is the splitting of white light into its constituent colors the spectrum because each color bends at a slightly different angle as it passes through the prism. Number 13. A group of different, overlapping food chains in an ecosystem is called a blank. Again, a group of different, overlapping food chains in an ecosystem is called a blank. The choices are A. Food pyramid B. Food web C. Food Circle D. Food Family The correct answer is B. Food Web A food web is more complex than a food chain and shows the many different feeding relationships and energy pathways between organisms in an ecosystem. Number 14. Which of the following is a way to reduce pollution? Again, which of the following is a way to reduce pollution? The choices are A. Leaving lights on B. Using single-use plastic bags C. Walking or riding a bike instead of using a car D. Throwing old batteries in the regular trash The correct answer is C. Walking or riding a bike instead of using a car. Walking or biking for short trips reduces the burning of fossil fuels, which decreases air pollution from car exhaust. Number 15. A chameleon's long, sticky tongue is an adaptation that helps it to blank. Again, a chameleon's long, sticky tongue is an adaptation that helps it to blank. The choices are A drink water, B, breathe, C, catch insects for food, D, communicate with other chameleons. The correct answer is, C, catch insects for food. The chameleon can shoot its long, sticky tongue out at high speed to trap unsuspecting insects, which is its primary method of catching food. Number 16. What is the movement of heat energy from a warmer object to a cooler object? Again, what is the movement of heat energy from a warmer object to a cooler object? The choices are A. Heat transfer B. Energy transformation C. Temperature change D. State of matter The correct answer is A. Heat transfer Heat transfer is the natural flow of thermal energy from a place of higher temperature to a place of lower temperature. Number 17. Fungi and bacteria are important in an ecosystem because they break down dead plants and animals. They are called blank. Again, fungi and bacteria are important in an ecosystem because they break down dead plants and animals. They are called blank. The choices are A. Producers B. Primary consumers C. Secondary consumers D. Decomposers The correct answer is D. Decomposers Decomposers break down dead organic material, returning essential nutrients to the soil for producers to use. 18. If you mix salt with water, the salt dissolves and you can't see it anymore. How can you get the salt back? Again. If you mix salt with water, the salt dissolves and you can't see it anymore. How can you get the salt back? The choices are A. By freezing the water, 
B. By filtering the water. C. By evaporating the water. D. By adding more salt. The correct answer is C. By evaporating the water. When the water evaporates, turns into a gas, it leaves the solid salt behind, allowing you to recover it. Number 19. A puddle of water on the pavement disappears after a few hours in the sun. What is this process called? Again. A puddle of water on the pavement disappears after a few hours in the sun. What is this process called? The choices are A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Freezing D. Melting The correct answer is B. Evaporation Evaporation is the process where a liquid turns into a gas water vapor when it is heated, causing the puddle to dry up. Number 20. What is the process of saving and protecting natural resources called? Again. What is the process of saving and protecting natural resources called? The choices are A. Pollution B. Consumption Seed conservation D. Eruption The correct answer is Seed Conservation Conservation is the practice of caring for and protecting resources like water, forests, and air so they are not wasted or destroyed. Fantastic job! You completed the science quiz. Give yourself a big round of applause. Comment your score and keep exploring the world of science. Don't forget to like share and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun. Check out other videos from BrainWise.